Hello, this is Tom Volker. I'm the Director of Curriculum, Instruction, and Technology, and I'm here to present to you the beginning of the year technology presentation. There is a short history that we have that I'd like to review with you regarding technology that's applicable to us as it stands today. 2012 was a big year for the Brandywine Heights Area School District. Prior to 2012, we had several issues that we needed to sort through. Uh, whether that was relation to our network infrastructure, our um, lack of consistency, um, just general uh, procedures, all needed to be changed. We, we put a lot of work in and starting in 2012 we took a gigantic step forward uh, again in relation to integrating technology. In 2013 we deployed ThinkPad Tablet 2's to all of our students from kindergarten through eighth grade. We had some issues with the device itself so we actually sent the device back and received new devices and then we included the high school. So in 2014 we deployed Lenovo Yoga 11e devices for every student from kindergarten through 12th grade. 2015 is going to be our second year of being a full one-to-one -one school district. This is such an exciting time for us as a school district because there is much less of an emphasis on the device itself, on the network itself, on the hardware. Right now the shift and the focus is truly on the instructional practice and how to best leverage the resources that we have available to us. Several people have asked me, what's so great about a one-to-one -one initiative? Why is that such a positive thing? Well, the best answer is because it truly allows us to provide a more individualized instruction path for our students. We're better able to utilize data that can be harvested to drive some of our instructional decisions. Not to mention, there's an increased student engagement that happens just naturally, and it provides limitless opportunities and resources for our students and teachers. Additionally, it better exposes our students to 21st century tools that they're going to need when they leave us. In an effort to make sure that we are all on the same page, several documents were put together. Please read through the General Permission Form, Acceptable Use Policy Agreement Form, Microsoft Account Permission, Google Account Permission, and then information regarding the technology fee. Links to those pages can be found on the Technology Department's homepage. I'd like to take a moment to discuss the technology fee as some things have changed this year. It continues to be optional and annual, and it continues to cover all accident damage without a deduct deductible. We no longer will operate on a three strike system where after the third accident or third strike the device wouldn't be covered again that is no longer in place so you can have as many accidents with the device as you'd like not that I'm encouraging that we have partnered with the company Trinity 3 to service our devices and again Trinity 3 does not limit us um, on the number of accidents that we can have with each device the optional annual technology fee is $25 per student. Um, last year, it was $20 per student for a myriad of reasons as our devices are coming off of warranty, for the added benefit of no longer having a strike uh, system, we needed to increase the technology fee $5. While we are very proud of the fact that out of all school districts that operate with a technology fee, uh, we are by far the lowest. We do fully understand the impact of $25. Um, so we're going to do all we can to, to limit that increase. In full disclosure, the amount charged per device by Trinity 3 is $32. So we are trying to offset that as much as we can possibly afford as a school district to minimize that impact to you. Um, we're also excited to announce that we have a brand new way to pay the technology fee. So before it was either just check or money order and while we'll continue to accept checks or money orders um, we have the added way to, to pay via myschoolbucks.com which is how many pay for our lunch program right now. Next steps, pretty simple. There's some paperwork that needs to be completed before we can fully get this year underway. If you visit the site tinyurl.com slash 2015 tech paperwork, right there it will take you to a Google Doc, and this is what the Google Doc looks like. On this page, 
you're asked for your student's first name, student's last name, and grade level. Please complete one of these per student um, if you have multiple children. And then identify how you review this presentation. If it was online, obviously click online. Um, if you saw me in person, you can click in person. Right here is where you can say that you reviewed the general permission form. And again, if you uh, forget exactly everything that is on that, you can just simply click the link and it's all right here. Uh, same thing works here for the acceptable use policy and this is what gives us permission to create the Microsoft accounts. This is what gives us permission to create the Google accounts. All the links to the applicable documents are right here. And as far as payment for the, for the tech fee goes, that's right down here at the bottom. If you'd like to take advantage, yes, this is for my school box. Uh, yes, is, this is for check or money order, or, or no, you would not like to take advantage of the tech fee. Again, please know that if you don't take advantage of the technology fee and there's an accident, you are responsible for the, the payment of the repairs. This is where you type your name as, as an e-signature, and then put the date that you have completed the form. Hit continue and you'll submit it, and then I will have all the forms right on my computer. Once again, we are always looking for ways to grow and to improve, so please share your thoughts with us. Um, if there's something that we're doing great that you'd like to make sure we continue to do, let us know. If there's an area where you'd like to see us improve and change, let us also know that. Uh, we're always listening. So thank you for viewing this presentation, and have a great day.